That's my 1994 Miata, and it's really slow, but it's also a damn good drive, so we should probably just take it for a spin. Mazda Miata. It's an NA8, meaning that it has the 1.8 liter inline four. It's also a base model with a limited slip differential. In fact, it's the Torsen, which makes this car basically everything you need to have a great time. We're out here in the Hamas Mountains of uh, New Mexico because I built this car for one sole purpose, and that was slaying mountain roads. And these are some of the best that I know of. Honestly, I feel pretty privileged living in uh, New Mexico because we have these awesome open roads, but also a great mix of mountain roads. And if you got a great road car or driver's car like this, you can have a great time. Now, here's the thing about the Mazda Miata. We all know it's slow. Everybody knows that it's slow, but it's also a pure driver's car and that's what makes this such a great value proposition is that in my opinion it's essentially the budget benchmark of driver's cars it's got everything you need inline four rear wheel drive limited slip differential and a one of the best one of the best gearboxes in the game friends now, what's funny about these cars is I didn't used to like these. In fact, I used to talk a lot of shit about them. And then I drove one back in 2013 because a friend bought one for $1,500. Now, it was ratty with 150,000 miles. But even then, I drove it and I knew that at some point I was going to have to own one. Now, Miatas, as they come, Stock are a great drive. They're an awesome time. But if you mod them like this one, woo, you have yourself a weapon, friends. An absolute canyon carving weapon. And that's exactly what I intended with this car. Do I track it sometimes? Yeah, I do. But more than anything, I've built this car to just be an amazing back roads and mountain scalpel, if you will. Oof. This car is just too good on these roads back here. The only thing my car in particular is lacking is some more power. You could use a little bit of aero, some power, and also uh, a new brake upgrade. And that's why I'm making this video, is because I've touched almost everything else on the car, and I probably should have started documenting this build a long time ago, because I've owned the car for about four years now. But, it's not done. So I'll be making videos every step of the way to finish out this car so that you all can see what I come up with, which is basically my iteration of the very best Miata that I can build. And just so you guys know, growing up, I've always been a Porsche guy. Love Porsches. My dad had a 911. Whoop. Whoop. And, uh, this car is very much inspired by that to me. I don't have 911 Porsche budget, especially air-cooled 911 Porsche budget. But this, for me, is like building a Miata RS, if you will. Much like the Porsche RS cars, where they're very much road cars that are also very much track and race inspired. That's exactly what I want this car to be. Basically, if Mazda and Porsche in the 90s 
teamed up to build a, a Miata that was Porsche inspired. This is what I wanted it, this is what I want. Next video I'll make, I'll be going over all the parts that are on the car. As you notice, I got a key. roll bar back there. I'll go over suspension setup. I'll go over literally everything that's been done to the car thus far. Thanks for watching. This should be a fun build series. And if you followed me here from Miata Academy, what's up Academy fam? I know you all wanted this video for a while. And I'll leave you guys with just a little bit of driving footage. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh God, this car is good. Oh. God! Smiles per gallon, fam! Smiles per gallon! <laughs>